Now my roast and pepper is done. My coolie is thick. It's beautiful. Now we can just make it thinner if you want. You just add more liquid, blend it again, or just leave it as it is and just uh, use it as a nice thick coolie. Again, you can do a lot of things with this. You can put in a plate and just put it like that. And then, just like that, and put a little seafood here, some shrimp, whatever. You can add some cayenne pepper, make it spicy. There's a lot of stuff. So that's red pepper coolie. Okay, I just wanna show you how to actually roast the peppers. You need a flame open flame and you put the pepper on top and then we want the pepper to burn somewhat burn a little bit all over you keep turning it every uh, two minutes or a minute and a half and then we're gonna put the pepper inside here then we're gonna cover the container with the lid we're gonna let it sweat inside for like 30 minutes then under the running water we're gonna peel the skin off so we're gonna burn it a little bit. So here is the color we almost looking for. We just gotta turn it a little bit, burn it a little bit more. We're almost done. And I'm probably saying, oh my God, I'm gonna eat this, oh no. But you're gonna see all that black stuff is gonna come out. And you're gonna have a nice flavored, juicy pepper with no skin no seeds and that's how you make your roasted pepper coulis or your pepper dip or you don't want that skin all over the place okay i think now we're almost done so i'm going to take it like this just like i said put it in the container cover up the container tight and wait 30 minutes and then we're going to rinse it now it's been uh, almost like 45 minutes. We're gonna open our container. Oh, well, here is our pepper. I just wanna show you. So that's the burnt pep, that's the burnt one. So now you can see, I'm just gonna do like this. See how it's coming? It's peeling very easy. And you can do this with uh, like a little paper towel. And I just let them so the skin comes right off. This side I'm gonna cut it off. So what I need is this, this, so it looks good. A little bit of spots like that, it's okay because that's an indication that's actually you really did it the right way, proper way. Because some people they just leave the skin on. This is beautiful. I'm just gonna cut it here. I'm gonna get the uh, seeds out. Here we go.
now we're talking. So now you even have a little pocket here. You can actually stuff this up with uh, some vegetables, some couscous, some polenta, whatever you want. You can cut it into. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. We can just cut it julienne, batane, or we can roast it like this, put it in a blender, add some tomatoes and some other peppers and uh, puree it some seasoning and then you have a uh, your uh, roasted red pepper coulis voila that's it that's sour pepper right here welcome back to basic cooking this is chef agnel nice to have you with us so today we're going to do a roasted red pepper coulis um, in the first video you saw how I roasted the pepper and how I peeled it. I added some sun-dried tomatoes. So it's like two peppers here, uh, probably like um, two ounces or half a, uh, two ounces and a half of um, sun-dried tomatoes. Now I took the sun-dried tomatoes and I put them in some water to release the flavor and to make them softer. I got a couple of shallots. Get some red wine. So everything here is two ounces, two ounces. I get some stock and I get some sauce that we made, the cream sauce. Uh, the recipe is usually called for sour cream sauce. It doesn't make sense for me if I already have good flavored cream sauce. So I'm just gonna saute this with some shallots, add some wine, I mean add some wine, some stock, and then when I mix it together, add my sauce that's already made and the coolie will be done. Okay, so I got my pan hot, I got my shallots. Voila. Done. I want my shallot to caramelize this time because they want the flavor. Then I'm going to throw the sun dried tomatoes and the red pepper. Now there's a lot more red pepper than sun dried tomatoes, but sun dried tomatoes is going to release that flavor. It's really going to make this pepper coolie nice and pungent. Again, all this is going to be in the blender, so I don't need to chop the, uh, I don't need to dice it into any matter or slice it, so the shallots can be either way. We did just need to be caramelized. So we're almost there. So now we've got to add our peppers. Peppers look happy. Maybe a little, little bit more. This may be a minute more like that. So all I want is just to be a little soft. But what I'm going to do is add seasoning now. Because the salt is going to help it a little bit. And it's going to get that flavor out of the shallots and the pepper and sun-dried tomato. Now the sun-dried tomato is a little salty, so you got to be careful with your salt. Because the concentration, you get the sweetness. All this is going to come together. It's going to be like beautiful. I 
can just smell the peppers nicely kind of charred over a flame peel that charred the flavor of that is unbelievable I can just smell it here I really don't need that much more stuff except my liquids so I'm gonna add a little wine oh boy you just see that the glazing so living its juice it's happy the peppers are happy because they have friends here you get the shallots the sun-dried tomatoes you all working together very well I'm gonna add a little stock to add more flavor we're gonna let this simmer for a minute until it's very soft I'm gonna put it in the blender puree very easy easy to make nice sauce to have I mean you can even make a um, garnish with it a plate you can use it in the pasta you can use it in the chicken you can use it with the seafood there's endless food you can use this with it's a great item to have when I was a line cook I always had my roasted red pepper curry and I had my balsamic reduction and sometimes I put a nice pasta plate and then just go around and drizzle it and it's unbelievable the flavor is just unbelievable so let's simmer a little bit get my if it's working always check your equipment get rid of the stuff we don't need couldn't resist I had to add some herbs squeeze in some lemon juice it's just unbelievable add so much flavor together this is like happiness it is for me done I turn the heat off I'm ready to blend this up all my ingredients now are on board so I'm just gonna cover it up, We're ready to go. One, two, three, fire. Okay, now. 